Hello, in this video I will show you something kind of interesting. You must have seen this uh, done implemented before, uh, the toString method override. It is an extension method uh, and you can override it in classes. Uh, now, in many cases you use toString method and uh, it sort of combines various properties of the class uh, and it gives you a string which is perhaps not what it normally does. Uh, in general you use it to say turn an integer into a string or perhaps uh, something else into a string, right? But there is a way to override and uh, you can override other available methods as well in the same way. Now in this example we have a, a little class. It has a, a one property right here and another one right here. Thou1 which is a string and then thou2 which is a date. And then as you can see we print, we write to the console a string. A string which uh, combines these two together. So let's take a look at the class. This is just a simple uh, class added to this uh, console application. Nothing too fancy. We have example class and then in the example class as you can see we have this uh, data model. Example data model I called in this case but obviously it could be any kind of an object that you have in your class. The point here is that the override will only apply to anything in this class, in this model class. It will not affect the parent class. So that's something to keep in mind. Now as you can see we have one string and then we have date time. To override anything in C sharp you will need to use most likely a public or protected override. If you use Blazor you'll see that you have protected override on initialize the sync and similar things. Uh, in general, in simple C sharp class, you will only have a string and uh, a couple more things. Uh, but the way you find out, you either write uh, uh, public, okay, or protected, and then you write override. And then you see all the options that you can override. It's as easy as that. Other than that, you just write your return value and you change uh, the behavior of that particular method. Uh, obviously, the original one will not be uh, sort of available at that point, so do keep that in mind. Uh, but uh, this is actually a great thing to uh, sort of use. So as you can see in this case, we just have two string, value one, value two. They are added together and if I run the application just to prove that it does work, you will see that the string is indeed printed. We will have our one plus uh, the date in, in a string. Now if you want to learn Blazor, take a look at my Blazor course and if you want to learn API development, take a look at the API development course or take a look at my giant uh, sort of slow paced course where you will learn both API development Blazor development and with that SQL Server and a bit of HTML and CSS. Now as you can see it printed perfectly. We have a test, the word, a little space and the date. So it all works perfectly fine. Now if you want to find this source code or any other source code from my YouTube videos uh, do support me on Patreon. The lowest tier is the one euro, one dollar and you will get a free course of mine. You will be able to pick it, choose it and you will get it. Uh, and with that said, we will conclude this video.